G'day everyone, Adam from Jim's IT Penrith for an unboxing video. Haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I would do another one while I've got some stock that have just arrived for a client. Hasn't been unboxed at all, hasn't been unsealed, so this is our first look together. It is a HP Laptop 250G9. Not a bad machine, I don't mind the HP laptops. Let's give it a crack open and see what's inside, shall we? And oh. I've got a mind of their own sometimes, these things, don't they? Right. One part done. Another part done. Probably getting some shaking there in the camera. Right, let's open her up. Right. Got a typical sort of layout in there. Um, so you've got your laptop in that general area, and it looks like we've got, yeah, just typical power cable connector, power box, and a power cable. Nothing exciting, no manuals, nothing along those lines. Um, we have got, we'll take the laptop out, Oop, we've actually got a manual in there, or is it, important product information from HP, nothing really, uh, just product information, it's just telling us a bit about what the laptop is, uh, nothing exciting. Let's open it up. A nice little sealed envelope. I don't know why they'd seal it. It's not like it's an important letter to the president or whatever. Uh, I set up instructions how to plug it in. So, number one, plug the PowerPoint into the wall. Number two, turn it on. Right, so that, that was very informative instructions. And uh, number three, select the Wi Fi network. So, hugely informative instructions. Uh, they have got some niceties just here on the back. It, it basically explains the different ports on the laptop. Now, for someone like myself who works on these things every day, obviously we know what a lot of these things are. If we don't, there's something really wrong. Uh, so, I mean, for us, yeah, you throw this away. But for a home user, if they just got this straight out of the box, yeah, look, it, it's a nice little thing to have. Like, be able to look at it and identify the different parts on their laptop so okay not too bad so now we've got these little boxy things on the side let's take those off right on the floor my workshops are disgrace anyway we're wrapped up in plastic oh okay so we've got some hair on there so <laughs> that's not great but hey it's nice and sealed in its plastic so that's great but look at the hp's Look, they've always really looked nice. They try to change and modernise over time. Um, the one breed that hasn't tried to modernise is IBM. Always, their ThinkPads have always been the same or ThinkBooks. Let's take it out of the plastic. Um, so we have come up to your standard Windows 11 screen here. So let's hit continue. We're in Australia. Australia, mate. <laughs> so we're going to obviously collect, select Australia. And we've got the US keyboard, which is a bit weird, you know, I mean, all these different types of keyboards. No, we don't want to add another type of keyboard. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky thing here. You would obviously think that you're going to select the Wi-Fi network that you want to use. And the little buggers of Microsoft are actually making a store button by the looks of it. You used to be able to not select a network and then continue. Doesn't look like you're able to do that anymore. Okay, I'll show you a little trick here. So we'll connect to my network. And there we are, connecting, connecting. We are connected to Starfleet Command. Okay, so the next step, Windows or Microsoft 
will want you to log in with your ID. So generally, I take along the lines of they just want your information. Hey, they will, oh, we might not have that. I, I, I bet you we do. So you can name your device at this point here. So I'm just going to call it uh, Home. So it's for a home user. Home laptop. You can skip it. It doesn't have to give it a name and it will randomise the name for you if you do that. Right, so here we go. Unlock the Microsoft experience. Of course I want us to log in. We're just going to go sign in. And we don't want to do that though. I, I don't want to create a Microsoft account. So I'm just going to go no at username. Dot com. And then I'm just going to put any gibberish for the password. Oh, look, we can't sign in. Something's gone wrong. So we go next, and I then can create a local username. User is what I normally do. Password, the user doesn't want a password. I normally personally turn off all this. Again, I might sound a bit conspiracy here, but I, I just don't like sharing any information with anyone that I don't need to. So I go through and turn it all off. Registering the product, I don't want to register it. I don't want to do any of those to HP. So, so you don't actually have to uh, accept anything like that from HP just because it's on the screen. You don't have to fill in any of those details. You just skip it. It's not a big deal. And now it will load up into Windows 11. And we will have a working laptop for the client. So that's the unboxing for the uh, HP. They're a good little machine. Need any help at all? Give us a call, <laughs> as you always do. And if you actually do need help, generally do need help, you can comment in the comments below and I will contact you privately. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to do that, to get in contact with you. I can help you remotely anywhere in the world, so that's not a big deal. You can email me. Email will be in the description. Or you can jump on my Facebook page and send me a DM on Facebook, which is Jim IT Penrith. I forgot the ad. No, it is, it's Jim's IT because we did fix that. So J I M S I T Penrith, P E N R I T H, on Facebook, and I'm happy to reach out to you guys.